So I've got a little side project I wanna work on. Working in the garage, I've been using this speaker right here. And I've been having problems with the Bluetooth for a little bit. I have some extra stereo equipment that's been sitting around. It's an old Alpine unit and I got two four inch two way speakers and I'm gonna put them to use. So in order to get power, I'm gonna be using this old computer power supply. I had to buy a harness for that Alpine unit. So I'll probably clear out one of these cubbies up here. That's where I'm gonna put the radio and the speakers. So this is about what I'm going for. So I have the stereo in the middle and have the two speakers on the side. So I'll go ahead and cut out the holes for these speakers next. I cleared out some of the extra wires. I'm just gonna coil these up and uh, put some heat shrink on it. Probably won't need it, but it'll be there or whatever. For the important ones, we've got the yellow and black. That's where you get your 12 volts. The black being the ground and the yellow being your, um, your 12 volt. This green one, it's the important one. This is the one that actually turns on the power supply. So without this one, this one won't turn on if you have it plugged in. I got my meter hooked up. So I got it plugged in in the wall over there. I mean, you'll get a little bit of voltage on there, but you won't get the full 12 volts until you have the green grounded. So you put on the negative. Okay, I got it figured out. The three important wires. You have a pink one, and there's a gray one. Are they going into the same spot on this connector? So pink needs to be shorter with the red, and that gray needs to be shorter with the black. I'm glad I didn't snip all those wires. So what I'll do here, I'll just snip this one and get these soldered together. And with a gray wire, it just needs to be grounded, and this whole case is ground. I'm just gonna run it up with this wire here and then ground it up top here. I want to have the USB plug accessible from the front, so I got an extension. I'm thinking about putting it right about there. And the last thing I'm going to make is just a little pocket. I have it on this side, and that will be for the remote. I want to do a little cubby for my phone so I can slide it in there because I'm always losing it when I'm working on stuff. I 
grabbed this piece of wood and it was literally a couple of centimeters too short. So I cut out another piece. I'm gonna use the pocket screws again, attach these two together, attach and glue them. And then I'll have that extra bit of wood that I was missing. But once I get those glued and attached, I'll use the router to copy the outside shape of this board and then figure out how I'm gonna mount it on here. Took the board I was working on, put it on top of a new one, and I traced out where all the holes are. I'm just using that as a guide to figure out where I want to cut. So it does kind of look like a mess, but once I get everything cut out, then it'll make a little bit more sense. So I already got the front part of this panel rough cut out. I still need to come back and do some router work around these edges. I used the drill press to drill some small holes through the front panel all the way to the second one, and that's how I'm marking the magnets. So this piece is about ready to be wrapped. We've got the magnets to mount the front trim panel. And then these two magnets, those are the ones that I'm gonna use as electrical contacts so I can get my LEDs working. So for whatever reason, this fabric started to curl up on me. I ended up taping it down just to make it easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that board to it. So I'll finish working on this trim panel. I'll be using some scraps as a template to cut this out. I'll just work one section at a time until I get the full shape. I did have to make an adjustment back here to make room for the screws for the speakers. I used the big rabbiting bit just to carve a little bit more in here.
Went ahead and taped off these sections here. I'm about to put some glue on so I can attach the vinyl. The vinyl I'll be using is actually the same vinyl that I used in the truck. And I always pick black and gray for everything. It's supposed to match the rest of my cabinets. I'll explain a little bit of the setup. We've got the computer power supply, which is powering everything. So the wires that come out here, two of them are going directly to the power for the head unit. The other 12 volts is going to this terminal strip. I have this one jumper to these two spots here. So if I wanna connect anything else, it needs 12 volts. I've got two spots here. This one is unused, but this one is actually for the LEDs. And I went ahead and jumpered the turn on for the power supply. It's just jumper to ground. So once I plug it in, it's already got power to it. We got the speaker wires. So this is left front, and this is right front. And I've got the other two connections for the speakers right here. And those are gonna be connected later on. Got a remote wire here if I need it. And this red wire coming out of the head unit, this is the one to switch on the head unit. So you got the 12 volts from here connected to the switch. And you flip that switch, then it'll turn on the head unit. You got the antenna wire here, it's not being used. And then it's a bit of a mess back here, but I've got the USB connection. And then the auxiliary plug connected to the front as well. The LEDs, wires running around, connecting right here. This is actually where the wires are connected to. So you have the red wire connected to this magnet and the black wire connected to the other magnet. So the purpose of those is you have these two spots on the back of the trim piece. This one right here is going to the positive and this one's negative and those connect to this LED strip that goes all the way around. When you put these two together, those parts will make contact and then that's how you get the 12 volts from this main board to the front trim panel. two Alpine Type S four inch coaxial speakers. Got the CDA 9886 Alpine unit, pretty old unit, but it's still good. On the side here, you have the USB plug in and the aux connection. A little cubby for the remote. And then slot for the phone.
that's all we got for right now. So I finally actually have some music again in the garage. It was actually kind of funny when I was recording because the stereo actually kind of looks like Sid from Ice Age. So I think I'm just gonna call my radio Sid all the time. So it'll be a little bit before I start working on the other speakers in the other end of the garage, but I'll get to that eventually. But yeah, this was a fun little build. If you wanna see more, then consider subscribing, like, comment if you have any questions about it, and we'll see you in the next one.